morning, Facebook friends. Sarah here in the kitchen, and I am going to show you right now, I'm going to show you how to make ketchup. So you don't have to go to the store and buy your ketchup anymore. Just follow this, okay? I took a can of tomato paste, okay? I put it in here, and I like to use this so I can pour it into my container when I'm all done. So we got our paste in here. I'm going to take and put a little bit of maple syrup. Now, some people might use ketchup. Or I'm sorry, some people might use sugar, and I try not to use the white sugar whenever possible. And then I'm going to put a little pinch of salt in here, not too much, because you can always go back and add. I've got a little splash of apple cider vinegar. Okay, again, you can always go back and a little splash of Worcester sour sauce. Okay, now I'm just going to mix those all together here. And you want the consistency like if you bought a bottle of ketchup at the store. You don't want it too thick and pasty like the paste. So to keep from getting that consistency, we're just going to add a little bit of water and whisk it together until we get that ketchup consistency. And then we're going to go back through and we're going to test and see if there's any flavors we need to add. Your taste is always your, your guide. Your, your eyesight and your taste is your guide. How does it look? What's it taste like? You don't need measurements and recipes. You do to a degree, but just go with your taste. This way you know exactly what was in your, your ketchup. And I use organic. I'm gonna go a little bit more water and that should do it. You don't want it super runny, but you don't want it really pasty either. <clears throat> and then tomorrow it'll be even better because of all the ingredients have had a, a chance to kind of, you know, blend together. So let's see. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more maple syrup. Just a pinch. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. You want that. We're going to put the vinegar in. And we're going to do, because you want your ketchup to have a little kick. So let's, and that's going to come from the vinegar and the Worcester sour sauce. Sweet and savory. Let's see what it tastes like now. I'm getting grounded while I'm doing this. I'm standing on a grounding mat. Mm. We're going to pour the rest of that in because you want, you want that kick. And again, that comes from the apple cider vinegar. Use your taste buds. Let them do the talking to tell you what you need and how much you need of it. We're just going to go right back down the line because we want this ketchup to have wonderful flavor. So play around with it. I basically started out with um, about an, two tablespoons of maple syrup. Um, again, maybe a teaspoon of salt. more than a splash, a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, but again, I added that too, didn't I? And a couple tablespoons of, of Worcester sauce and some water. But again, do everything in, in small amounts until you get that flavor that you want. <clears throat> this is it. This is ketchup.
That's good. That'll go with my French fries. Yeah. <laughs> or on a hamburg. No preservatives. Then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to spoon it out into my jar. Seal it up and it's good. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you've learned something from it. I gotta find my clicker. Oh, here it is. 